Hi, this is Solace Ames with another video for you, and today I'm going to be talking about the Julie Chen eyelid surgery news. And this has been uh, going around a lot in news stories, and you see a before and after picture of Julie Chen. And before she has uh, um, eyes that people told her were too Asian, made her look inexpressive, um, bored. So uh, she, at the advice of many people, went and got surgery to make her eyes look more open and uh, European. And uh, after that has achieved a lot of success in media. And for the, in large part, has used that force for good. I mean, I don't really know that much about her. I don't watch a lot of reality television or anything like that. But I haven't heard any really, you know, terrible things about her. And I think that her coming out about this and saying, you know, yes, it's, it was because of racism is a good thing overall. But um, I want to talk about some of the reactions to that, some of the reactions that have been very uncharitable, uh, especially by some Asian American male bloggers who are sort of very disappointing in a predictable way, but disappointing in their reactions to this. And... Um, you know, it's something that I have grown up with my whole life from a very early age, having people ask me very directly, what's wrong with your eyes? How can you even see like that? I mean, um, and it doesn't go away. I mean, uh, the climate is a bit better nowadays, but still, just the other year I had a little six-year-old girl come up to me and ask me, why are you squinting? And I said, oh, honey, I'm not squinting. This is just my natural eyes. Yeah, so... I don't get mad at you know six-year-olds for who have maybe never seen an Asian person before saying something like that. Uh, it's if they're educated, then they learn and they won't say such hurtful things again. But the problem is that we have this culture that reinforces that in every way that big eyes are the best. That you 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 a, a little Asian exoticism, a little slant is okay, but they need to be big and they need to be the proper windows to the soul because if they're not then the person you can't trust them they they, they don't express emotions very well and uh it, it it's it's horrible it's it, it leads to really uh, a lot of self-hatred among women who um in i i don't want to i want to maintain a distinction here between asian american and asians in asian countries who have linked issues but definitely not exactly the same but it makes us as in Asian Americans who have grown up internalizing the standard, we look in the mirror, and of course, what about your face do you see the most? And if you have vision, then it's going to be your eyes. You, you're, you're staring at your eyes, and you're, you're growing up thinking, what's wrong with my eyes? I mean, I remember when I was a child trying to, uh, just going around looking surprised all the time because uh, I wanted to, and, and never smiling in photographs because when I smile, my eyes narrow. And that is, uh, I used to think I was weird and freakish for that, but I, I wasn't. Once I um, met other Asians, uh, a lot of them had that same mirror moment, and it's, it's very sad. So how do we move past that? And I think the answer to, uh, to that is to not blame the victims. That is, do not blame the women who make a strategic decision to succumb to this pressure and Europeanize their appearance. It's just not healthy to blame them for doing that because we all have to make choices. And a lot of times for women, these choices are not just for us, they're for our family, they're for our elderly relatives, they're for our children. How do I get a job to support myself and to support them? And, um, you know, what, once you're in that situation, you will do almost anything. Like, for example, um, I was raised in such a way that I never even thought about having eyelid surgery. I just, I would never do that. Uh, it has never even crossed my mind. But, uh, you know, if you came up to me and said, hey, uh, I'll give you a million dollars, which means that my kids could have college educations, you know, paid for and everything, and, 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 and all my financial worries would be gone if you chop off your little finger, then I'd probably say yes. And you have to understand that concepts of ethnic pride and bodily integrity sometimes aren't as powerful as they could be when people are, they have a carrot dangled in front of them, you know, and they have a stick at the back as well. So these choices are not made in a vacuum. Do not 
look at these people and say, oh, you sold out. You, you know, and, and I've seen so many people doing that to Julie Chen, and it's just not fair. Um, if she did not have that surgery, she would probably be not, she would probably not be where she is today. But at the same time, um, you know, I don't want to say, oh, she's, you know, she doesn't have any responsibility. She does. She, uh, and I, I think that she is acknowledging that, you know, by coming out and saying such uh, an embarrassing thing that would open to her to so many attacks. And she has been attacked. Um, you know, it, it, it took some courage to do that. And I think she's using, she has, she's a person of, right now, comparatively speaking, tremendous wealth and social capital because of her successful entertainment career. So she is, is using that in a way that I think is a good way. Um, so I guess I don't want to go too much into this issue because it's so big. Um, I just want to uh, put it out in the open that you can't make people proud of themselves by telling them they should be ashamed of not being proud of themselves. It's counterintuitive. You can't do that. Like I have narrow, squinty eyelids, hooded eyes, monolids. You can say it in good ways. You can say it in bad ways. I'm a writer, so I'm always looking for good ways to say it. Sometimes I say starkly chiseled eyes. Um, you know, it's a, there, there are many options, um, but th there are places like monolidlove.tumblr.com where, uh, you know, we can look at examples of Asian women who do have uh, th this kind of eye shape and find the beauty in that, that we, we, we don't have to stick to one standard. There should be a diversity of beauty. Uh, if you even accept, you know, the concept of, of beauty at all, and, and sometimes we have to make baby steps in that direction. So let's not just, you know, point at people and say, oh, you hate yourself, ha, 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 ha. I mean, that doesn't work. Um, we have to have alternatives. We have to have some other path. We can't just shame people into being proud of themselves. And I, I really want to get there someday. And I hope everyone else does too. Thank you. Bye.